Good morning, guys. So this morning, I thought I would take you guys on a little morning routine. I just woke up. Well, I brushed my hair because it was a little crazy. Um, but I just woke up and I am going to go to the gym. It's not every day that I go to the gym. And I think I probably mentioned in my last videos, I've been slacking. I used to go quite a bit, nothing crazy, like just on like the ellipticals and stuff. Um, but I slacked off or I have been slacking off. Sorry, my clothes are drying right there. Um, so I'm trying to get back onto it because I really enjoy the way it makes me feel. And I feel like it really helps my mental health i don't know like when i hear people say that sometimes i'm like yeah okay for sure but honestly sometimes it really helps and even if you aren't like getting a huge like you're lifting a thousand pounds or whatever you know you're still taking time out of your day focused on yourself and that is still good what whatever you're doing since it is my first day back in a little bit, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why. Gyms have always intimidated me. Even when I was like going pretty frequently in high school, like I was like lifting weights and stuff, it was always, has always been intimidating. But I think the best way to get myself out of bed and going to the gym is literally just get up and go. Don't check your phone. Don't get on any social media. Don't try to do anything else. Put on your gym clothes and get ready. Okay, I'm back. Literally went for the most generic outfit ever. Just some biker shorts and a Teen Hearts shirt. It says head in the clouds and it's some froggies and mushrooms, eyeballs, I don't know. Also, I forgot to mention this earlier, but one thing I always do in the day is make my bed. Doesn't matter if I don't have any plans that day, if I'm just gonna lay in bed all day, whatever. I always make my bed. It somehow makes me feel a little bit better. I think maybe because it's a teeny tiny routine, even if it's just like not really a big thing, it just makes me feel like I did something. So if you're struggling with getting out of bed and feeling productive, maybe try making your bed. It's something small, but it sometimes makes a difference. So I am back from the gym, as you can tell. I went on the elliptical for, I think it was 30 minutes, and then I just did like a little cool down walk on the treadmill, which was the clip that you saw. Sometimes I'll do like the, what's it called? The 12, 3, 30, I think. But I don't go to the full 12, because that is very tall. I usually do like eight. Today I just walked, I think it was at like five incline, and I was at like, 2.6, I think it's miles per hour, right? 2.6 miles per hour. I don't know, either way, it was just kind of a cool down walk. So I did um, 50 minutes at the gym, which I think is pretty, pretty okay for the first time going back in a little bit. But now I'm home, I'm going to wash my face and cook some breakfast, and then I'm going to get ready for my day. I didn't talk about this before. Um, I sometimes eat before the gym, sometimes I don't. It just depends how hungry I wake up. I'm not gonna like deprive myself uh, before going to the gym because I don't feel like that's very productive. Also, I don't think I get a, as good of a workout if I'm super duper hungry. So yeah, it just depends on the day. My hair is coming out of my little clip. Um, today I had like a little bit of a protein bar. To wash my face, I used the La Roche-Posay Efficlot Claire, I'm not really sure. Um, medicated gel cleanser. I was using a kind of like holistic cleanser for a little bit there and I didn't really feel like it was doing much. I was breaking out more, but this one really keeps my skin in check. It is a little bit more harsh, I'd say, so I do get a little dry, but I combat that with like some heavy duty moisturizer. But other than the dryness, this is great. Okay, now that I look slightly less sweaty, we're gonna do some skincare. I've been using this Bioma Bioma um, Moisturizing Rich Cream. I'm gonna be honest, I picked it because of the packaging and then I saw an ad on TikTok about it later and I think it's like a pretty clean moisturizer. I'm not really sure. I have really been enjoying it. I will say though, this might just be for me, but the pump on this literally sucks. It worked for maybe the first couple weeks now it doesn't even pump anything out. So I've been, you know, just like 
now it's empty, I think. So I'm gonna actually go to Target today and get more of this, and then I need to get a toner. I really love this moisturizer, um, other than the faulty pump. It's not super thick and greasy to the point where it literally feels like you're putting on like just layers of sunscreen. I feel like I do kind of have semi-sensitive skin. If a product has too much fragrance, if it just doesn't agree with my skin, I get really, really itchy, but this does not do that. Then, of course, I go in with some sunscreen. Everybody should wear sunscreen every single day. I use the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen in 30 SPF. I know for a lot of people, sunscreen can kind of be a turnoff because of how oily it is and how it can make your skin feel, but this is honestly, it's pretty nice and it's lasted me a really long time. Once I started using sunscreen um, in my like everyday life, I feel like I really saw a difference in the redness of my skin. Obviously right now I'm a little pink just because I worked out and that lasts for a while. At least for my skin, the sunscreen has definitely helped. That's pretty much all I do for skincare in the morning. At night, I do the same routine with the lotion. And then I go in with this Ultra Glow and Protect Serum by Nola Skin. I really enjoy their products. They are, I'm pretty sure, a woman-owned vegan company. Hello, so I am back from eating my breakfast. I just had some eggs and some turkey bacon. Uh, this right here is a pile of clothes. I'm gonna fold today. Uh, Usually that's not part of my morning routine, but I accidentally left them in the dryer last night. Now I'm gonna do some makeup. The first thing I do um, is I go in with this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I remember back in high school or maybe even in middle school, like this was the rage on, um, you know, on YouTube makeup tutorials. I'm gonna be honest, mine is probably expired, but I have not had any problems yet. I haven't used it enough to be um, for it to be empty, but it's it's definitely getting there. I think uh, I should probably get some more. And by no means am I like a makeup guru or whatever. Do people even call themselves that anymore? We're just gonna put in these little barrettes to keep my bangs that aren't bangs anymore intact. I use the Cinnamon Swirl Too Faced Palette. I like to go in with, let's see, it's Flower Power and Doughboy. It's the top two shades right here. A little fluffy brush, and I just use that as my base color. Now I'm gonna go in with Muffin Top <laughs> as um, kind of a little bit of a buffer shade. I don't know if that makes sense. A little just bit in my crease. I go in with Lick the Spoon right here. It's kind of a, it's a little bit more of like a peachy brown. It is really beautiful. I'll show in a second. I feel like it just kind of warms it up a little bit more. It definitely comes off a little bit darker on my actual eye um, than it is in the pan. Next, I'll either take it a little bit deeper with cinnamon roll, which is right here, um, and then batter up. All I'm doing today is hanging out with my dad and my boyfriend. So I'm just gonna keep it light. If I do wanna go a little bit more dramatic, I'll go with those. For brows, I talked about this once again in my last video, but it's the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. I don't really know. Well, it's not that I don't know if I like it or not. I don't like this. I've come to the conclusion. There were a couple times last week where there were literally like white stringies on my eyebrows from this just like drying over time. I'm gonna finish it. I don't wanna just like chuck it halfway used, but I will say not my favorite. Maybe if you have lighter eyebrows, it won't be um, as much of a problem, but since mine are pretty dark, it really shows. They're a little bit unruly right now. I definitely need to get them threaded. Usually when they're threaded, I don't even really need to worry about the brow gel. The thing is my eyebrow hairs, they get very long. And since they get long, they get pretty crazy, um, which is why I usually slick them down. This right here, and this is my favorite eyebrow. Always has been, always will. This one's just, this one's always a little bit funky. For eyeliner, I use the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Um, it's a brush tip. Mine's a little jank, as you can see. I don't know if you can, but I got some little, uh, strings hanging off of it. This is the best eyeliner I use. I have two of them. One's a little bit drier than the other. I'm sure some of you guys will understand. Sometimes you don't want a super like liquidy eyeliner because it'll spread, but these are really nice because you can really flatten them and get a really thin tip on the end. Can't even, yeah. 
but this is my favorite eyeliner for my actual wing and then for like the little dots that i do or like just some sort of you know little embellishment i use the nyx epic wear waterproof liner and this one is a brush tip um and it comes like with a little pot these are great for the little like dots and stuff like i said but it's not my favorite to actually get do a wing um if you're doing like a super big wing i think it'd be better but if you're doing something really small and precise these ones are better but these are really great because they do not budge sometimes they'll last on my eyes for like a day or two if i don't use like an oil-based remover but i have this in white and then i have one in blue somewhere but the white one is definitely my most used and my favorite but i'm gonna go do my eyeliner off camera because that is not a skill that i've mastered and then i'll come back all right so i finished my eyeliner and my little dots and then for my mascara i use the urban decay perversion um mascara i just have a travel size right now but i've used this for the last couple years and it's my favorite i've used a couple different um, mascaras over the years but honestly i just i love the way that this looks it's one of those mascaras where if it gets clumpy it's still good like even if it dries out a little bit um which is kind of like the same with the eyeliner sometimes when they get a little dry it's a little bit better i don't know maybe that's just crusty and then if i line my waterline i use the elf no budge retractable eyeliner in black i don't know if i'm gonna do it today i kind of like the lightness that i've got going on so now that my makeup and stuff is done i'm gonna pick an outfit since i'm not doing anything too crazy today I'm gonna go with these Colsey. They're full length leggings. They're the, the ribbed leggings that you see all over Target. I think the shorts are like $10 and then the leggings are I think like 15, I believe. But I love them if you like leggings and comfy loungewear and stuff go get them. I wear both the shorts and the leggings like non-stop. And then for my top, I'm just gonna wear this. It's a little wrinkly, don't mind that. This is the cotton on tank tops that I showed in my summer favorites. I'm really comfy, I love them. I think it's like high 60s, low 70s today. So if I get cold, I'll just throw on my trusty dusty purple flannel. I've had this thing since I was literally in sixth grade, I think. It has tears. It is thin, you could literally stick your finger through the fabric if you wanted to, it's ratty, but it is the best flannel I've ever had. So that was my morning routine. Obviously not every day is the same, but it's pretty much usually like this. I'm going to get dressed and then go on about my day. Like always, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a comment and like and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite thing to do in the morning is.